sorry ma'am could you please repeat that the course applied for master of data science okay which city you belong to kathal kathal okay and what's your last education bachelor of science non medical okay and you have any gap in education yes ma'am i do have uh, almost three gaps three gaps yes one okay. after my 10th class because i repeated my mm -hmm. 11th standard mhm mm after that uh, my 12th class there is a, a gap of one year because the result was uh, like supposed to come in july which is uh, like normal result uh, but my result came in like september September Just 2000. wait for a minute. It was in uh, 14 to 15 is a gap. Yes. 14 to 15 is 11th repeated. Okay. 14, yeah. And and the 17 to 18 was. 17 to 18 because my result uh, was declared in mm -hmm. September 2017. So I missed okay. my so I missed my intake, ma'am. Okay. So that's why you took admission in the 2018. 2018 to 21, you completed your bachelor's. Then after 21, no, ma'am. Uh, actually, my bachelor was supposed to completed in 21, like uh, May or June 2021. Yeah, but, so I can understand. So you took admission 2018, and but obviously your education will be done in 2021. Uh, my result came uh, for my graduation my four semester result came in march 2022 so that is the time when i completed my graduation so you mean while well, you didn't do anything no ma'am actually i applied for wipro in like uh, november december 2021 mm -hmm. so they were asking that uh, you have to uh, con uh, sign a contract with us for a mm -hmm. five year bond so i mm -hmm. like uh, you are going to make me a slave so i don't want to work with you so in short do you have any work experience yes or no yes ma'am i do have work experience which company impact overseas you started the work with the impact overseas yes ma'am when did you start the work there october 2022 october 2022 yes ma'am And until I work there, uh, I'm still working in Impact Overseas. What the position? Assistant Manager. What's your role in a company? Actually, ma'am, uh, like uh, some, suppose uh, I'm just finalizing the files which are going to like embassy and making the SOPs for the students. I have to consult. It is not relevant to your study. You're going for data science, right? Yes, ma'am. So you are working in overseas. You don't know about your SOP and all things. I do know, ma'am. So how can you join this company? Yes, ma'am. There are a lot of things that I don't think my graduate, uh, my studies are completed. So as per like, uh, there are not that much kind of uh, designations which uh, support my language, uh, like C plus plus or Python languages. So in here, I am just. Uh, you know uh, if i supposed to means like we have 350 applications processing right now so i have to just uh, which application has got an offer letter in the excel sheet so after that this is okay i know the overseas work okay i am yeah. asking you so how it would be relevant to your study you're going for data science yes how can you justify your work see your background is bachelor of science okay you yes, chosen course is data science that's okay yes. okay but you are working in overseas um actually mummy doesn't have to relate with that that much because i don't have to as you know that so why did you you why why don't you change your job there are many companies in it you can do work in your, your sector right mum actually suppose i my degree is not in computer science mum so there is so there is so there is just like suppose um there is a lot of like inconvenience in with my studies that suppose it companies require the perfect language for this like making data science software making databases which company uh, which uh, city you appeared you have ailed um kurukshetra it's like 40 or 50 kilometers from kathal 
Kurshetra, which institute? Yes. I'm sorry, ma'am. Which institute you done? Exam. Exam like uh, hmm. I don't understand, ma'am. I do not like you are asking which for institute? my prepa preparation. Yes, I'm um, giving the exam in the institute. No, um, I haven't like I didn't go to any institute for my preparation. So where from you did your preparation? Like just from YouTube and other things. Okay, so where you appeared this exam? It was a div uh, some kind of a hotel, three star hotel, Divine Clark, I guess. Which one? Divine Clark in like near the bus stand, opposite to sector 10. Okay. Fine. How much salary are you getting here? 20,000. In cash? No, ma'am. Bank account. Okay. What about your parents? What does parents do? Um, my father has a business of uh, agriculture implements, ma'am. Agriculture? Implements. Like, uh, suppose, uh, spare parts of tractor and uh, spare parts of compound for, like, uh, mm -hmm. all those things. And uh, do you have any refusal? Yes, ma'am, I do have refusal. From where? Australia. When? Uh, my refusal came on 10th Feb, ma'am, 2023. Okay. From which university? RMIT. Did you find the reason? Um, actually, I have seen a lot of refusal letters. So the reason is all the same, like my economic ties, my incentives to come back to India. They are just, uh, they're not showing a specific reason for a specific file. So I don't think the reason is justified. It's all the same thing written in every, every refusal letter. Hmm. Okay, your mom is also working? Yes, ma'am. She has a business of tuition work, ma'am. Home tutor? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And what about your sibling? My sister is in, ma'am, IG College in BSc Medical. She is pursuing bachelor's? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And what about the annual income of your family? Uh, my mother has, like, 4 lakhs. 60, 70,000, and my father has, I think, 4 lakh 70 to 80,000. And my grandfather is in the same business my, with my father. He has uh, like 4 lakh 95,000, I guess. I don't know the exact amount, but it's more than 4 lakh 90,000. You mean so the annual income is going to 12 lakhs, 11 to 12 lakhs? No, ma'am. Hmm. 4.7 4, 4. your father, 4 lakhs your mom, 4 lakhs your grandfather. Um, it's going to be like 14 lakhs, I guess. 14 lakh plus. 14 uh, lakhs plus. Yes, because uh, uh, suppose uh, my father has uh, uh, 30,000 less uh, to 5 lakhs and my mother has... Uh, Fine. How much savings you have for education? Uh, almost 35 lakhs. Hmm. That's a form of FD. Yes, ma'am. And uh, so did you took the loan also? Yes, ma'am. I took the loan. How much? 38 lakhs. Okay. So you didn't find the reason your rejection. Do you have anyone in Australia? No, ma'am. Actually, there is a, like, uh, suppose I have applied in Deakin University, Newcastle University, and even in RMIT University. So my GT has mm. been clear a lot of times, like almost six times. So what, what, what? I can understand. What did you say? My GT, three universities has cleared my GT. So I don't know. Which universities? Deakin or? Deakin, uh, Newcastle, and other things. Newcastle. They cleared your GT? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So why did you get the rejection? And that's why um, I don't know what is the reason because even my funds are uh, like double the amount uh, for like normal students mm. and even like all yeah my annual income is just uh, maybe the my agent was asking that your annual income should be like 15 lakhs but uh, I don't think 30 40 thousand makes that much kind of a difference mm -hmm. 
So it might be the reason is your gap or your work. Mm. I don't know, ma'am. Because the university is saying that you can enroll in our studies. So why does uh, embassy <laughs> have to do with that? Because my mm -hmm. studies are like, suppose I have to study uh, Master of Data Science and my uh, previous studies are saying that I have like some kind of basic knowledge for uh, computer languages and databases. So th my studies are relevant. So what does uh, embassy or anybody has to do with my work experience? We just have to be find out the reason, okay? If I found anything, we'll get back on the same number. Fine? Okay, ma'am. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.